Um, the American Gas Association, we represent, uh, our members are the LDCs, the local distribution companies that distribute gas to uh, over 170 million Americans. Uh, and you're right in your opening statement that in the last 10 years, uh, we are now experiencing the most exciting and revolutionary change uh, on the energy front in my lifetime and in many. Uh, and our government struggled for over four decades since the 73 oil embargo and the Yom Kippur War to come up with an energy strategy. Uh, and they still have yet to get there. But the marketplace is working and driving. And it's based on innovation, American innovation and know-how know -how and risk-taking. Uh, and what you saw through the ability now to extract uh, what they call unconventional gas or shale gas from uh, shale rock um, has unleashed a, a second opportunity for our country uh, to have energy security, have uh, a low cost uh, energy portfolio, and to um, have uh, you know, kind of a clean energy picture that we've not seen before. Uh, and this revolution, because of this newfound abundance, because of shale gas, uh, we as a nation have in excess and much more than 100 years of supply at current uh, rates. Uh, and many believe that actually will continue to grow. So we have, we've moved from an age of scarcity to now an age of abundance. So what does that mean? Well, because you have this domestic abundant resource uh, and it is clean, uh, we think the, the real energy picture going forward would be a combination of natural gas as a foundation fuel uh, as a country, but with renewables and what David, uh, what Rick is doing is, is part of that, uh, and uh, with greater energy productivity, which was, is really efficiency, using energy more wisely. Uh, and I think the combination is there. But the, it's interesting, in Europe today, uh, their energy strategy is to have a high cost uh, energy and therefore you drive consumers to make choices and government makes those calls. Uh, what we have is a new paradigm and because of the low cost energy there are decisions being made in the marketplace, uh, Davis Company and others, where they're going to convert from coal to natural gas or depending on the, on the price. We have government with regulations, EPA and others that are, are driving some of that. But the innovation that allowed this to, to occur is what they call hydraulic fracturing, uh, but it's really computer technology. It's not just the fact they can go a mile down, it's the fact they can go you know, laterally, horizontally, through a, a seam of rock and hit a target the size of a tennis ball a mile away, or even more. So that's the, the productivity of this uh, extraction is so much higher. That innovation had some government support uh, early on, but it took the commercialization of that, the risk taking, uh, to, to bring that to bear.